Hi, I'm Ryan. This is the first of our toolbox talks. Uh, this one's on the biomass. Uh, the biomass heats up the whole offices and uh, provides hot water for the cafe. Uh, this is the control room here. There's our pumps. Uh, the two hot water tanks there. Uh, the first of the uh, incinerators, which is the smaller one just there. Uh, this is the larger of the two. And then the control panels on the back wall there. Uh, this is the chimney here uh, that allows any steam and smoke to escape the uh, incinerators to relieve the pressure in there. Uh, these are the control panels. So I'm going to just switch this on to a manual mode so it's safe for me to get to work. Um, this is where the wood comes through from the uh, fuel store. Comes up this pipe here, down, and a small pieces of chipping are caught in the uh, catchment tray. It's then fed back up and then down again into the uh, corkscrew auger which then feeds it through this pipe here and into the back of the incinerator. So I'm going to open it up now for you just to have a little look. Okay so we can see it's burning quite nicely um, but it is getting quite full it's uh, quite high. Um, you can see either side of the nice orange burning wood there is piles of grey ash and we need to get rid of that to make sure that uh, the burners are working as efficiently as possible. So we do that by scraping them uh, down the sides into the metal grate at the bottom uh, so any small pieces of ash will fall through um, but any of the wood chipping that's still burning uh, is uh, kept on that level so it won't fall through. Uh, so once we scrape all the ash into there, we'll then push back all the good stuff back into a nice little pile. And we're looking to get a nice even pile of uh, wood chipping as uh, we can see there, it looks a lot better now. There's hardly any ash. So we'll close that back up. Um, but having cleaned all the ash out, put that all into the grate, it's got to go somewhere. So what we'll do, We'll uh, now put it onto a manual ash auger mode. I'll turn that on. Okay, so this is the uh, ash bin. Um, the ash auger is a little corkscrew inside that pipe that feeds into this bin. So all the ash that's been put into the uh, metal grate from the uh, furnace will now push through here. So we'll just show you the little corkscrew and the process of pushing through into the bin. So there we are, that's now clean out. That's uh, quite a nice fine ash. Uh, this is where the ash ends up. We'll now put it back onto the uh, automatic mode so it can go back to uh, looking after itself and go back to burning as it was before I started uh, the clean. Um, the final inspection of the day is going to be the uh, fuel store. So it's always good to make sure there's still enough fuel because we don't want to be caught out and uh, run out of fuel. Okay, so this is the storage area. These are the large mounds of wood chipping. Uh, they're bought in from the forestry guys who uh, top these up quite regularly. Um, underneath the wood chipping are two great big metal arms with uh, a metal disc on top to protect them and uh, stop them from getting clogged up. And those metal arms constantly spin around and uh, feed into another corkscrew auger that pushes up into the uh, feeding pipes. So as you can see, it's good quality, large chunky pieces of dry wood. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the talk today and we'll see you next time for another one. Thank you.